Hello, 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 hello. Aaron Outdoors here. It is Sunday, April 24th, 2022. Vlog number 37. It's been a while since I've done one. Uh, close to a month. I've been really busy on Twitter. <laughs> um, just kind of slowly, very inch by inch, dragging in followers <laughs> like one a day. By uh, doing what I do, I just go through. <laughs> I I hope people that 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 get responses from me don't think that I'm like singling them out in any way and like just attacking them personally. <laughs> um, I don't pretty much never go looking for anything in particular. I open Twitter up and I see stuff and I think stuff and I say stuff. <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's really that's it. Like I, I'll read something and be like, "Oh my god," <laughs> and on to the next one. <laughs> but uh, there's so much going on. My goodness, it's impossible to keep up. But uh, you know, I do it anyway. <laughs> um, I was gonna try going through my Twitter feed, uh, just stuff that I've posted as a means for uh, topics to speak of. But I mean, I don't need to do that to mention uh, Elon and Twitter. Elon and Twitter. I repeat, Elon and Twitter. <laughs> oh my god, how amazing would it be if Elon Musk was actually able to get his hands on Twitter completely? Like, total control over it and the algorithm? Like, I can't even imagine. It, 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 it'd be like that moment in, in the movie Tron when they they put the the frisbee of information into the master central computer and it lights up the entire network like that's that's what it'll be like it'll be like that <laughs> like the whole thing will just infectiously spread throughout the entire internet the freedom of speech and a system that like allows you i said this in a in a tweet to somebody it's like the greatest thing because so, somebody was saying, why did it was when it first happened, and everybody's, oh well, he could have given every person in America a million dollars, blah 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 blah. And my answer to one guy that said that was, well, no, he's given us something better. He's given us a chance at free speech, and not just that, the chance to connect with each other based on who we actually are, instead of who the state wants us to be. People don't think about that fact. It doesn't just curate your your news feed or the information you receive. It, it, curates the people you connect with and right now the system is set up so it's set up so that it connects people based on things that they want people to connect on things they want people to group up on and propagate and build build you know it's, it's a means of control without being in control it's like you don't tell people what to do you just highlight and amplify the people who are already doing it um and if twitter instead of doing that was all about just making sure everybody connected with everyone else who was of a like mind period and if you're like oh but then the white supremacists and the nazis are... okay first of all the other thing we need to talk about is we're sending weapons to Nazis in Ukraine. So the next person who says anything to me about, oh, we can't let the white supremacists say whatever they want, fuck you, we're sending them guns. Okay, we're sending goddamn neo-Nazi nationalists weapons. All right, and we already know this doesn't go well. This is how we ended up with ISIS. This is how we ended up with Al-Qaeda. This is... It, 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 it's just like, are you freaking kidding me? It's like, oh, but it's just a small faction within Ukraine. Yeah, P.S., that's how Hitler's Nazi party started. They were just a small faction within Germany before they took power. Hell, the German government put Hitler in prison before he took over. He got out of prison, then took over the country. All right? So don't give me this garbage. Oh, it's just a fucking few of them. Because those motherfuckers are soaking up all the weapons we're sending them. They're not going to give those weapons back. There's already massive numbers of articles about the black hole that these weapons are just vanishing into and nobody knows where they're actually going. And we keep sending them $800 million every freaking month. All right, it's like, are you kidding me? Get the... F oh, dude. Dude. Just dude. <laughs> and who's doing it? 
a guy whose son is apparently a complete and total freaking crackhead and is using in, doing influence peddling for with his father's name, Hunter Biden. And then we've got a media who and a CIA and intelligence community who signed off on saying that his laptop, the laptop was a fake and wasn't real. And then all two years later, the New York Times comes out and says, oh, yeah, sorry, that actually was real. The, the newspaper that broke the article first was the New York Post. It's like one of the oldest newspapers in the world or news outlets in the world. It, and they were banning people on Twitter for mentioning it, for linking the article to the New York Post. Like, it, it, how the people that did that are not like being charged with like treason or at the very least, like, <sighs> is it not illegal to manipulate the public <laughs> to sway votes? Like, we're crying all this stuff about, oh, Russian manipulation and freaking outside foreign manipulation and Chinese manipulation. It's like, well, what about internal manipulation? What about the government forces within our own freaking country that are manipulating what we see, what we hear, what we read, and what we even think? Because I'm pretty sure nobody's cool with that. I'm definitely not. I mean, if you are, tell me. Let me know. <laughs> Like, I'm okay with the government manipulating me and telling me what to think. Like, okay, fine. Um, P.S. You don't live in a free country. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't get to say we're the land of the free anymore. We don't get to say we're defenders of freedom. We don't get to say we're propagating democracy. We don't get to say any of those things anymore if this is cool and this is okay. For our government to be performing thought control on the public via our news media and via our social media because that's what's happening right now it's like oh government doesn't censor us they are totally censoring us via proxy okay they're doing it they're doing their censorship the same way they do their war proxy wars proxy censorship <laughs> damn <laughs> i didn't even check to see if this thing is recording or if it's catching the volume I had a problem with that the other day. Let me check that real quick. Audio is great. So. <laughs> yeah. We really need the free speech forum. And we need it to be Twitter because it's already, the, like Elon said, it's already the de facto town square. And this crazy liberal hegemony madness has got to be brought to a screeching halt. Um, and it needs to be done by the left, because if it isn't done by the... If the left doesn't rein itself in, the right is going to take control. Trump is going to be reelected. That may not be very pretty. Um, I, I prefer that, honestly. I would have rather have seen Trump reelected than this madness with with Biden. And I don't think things would be nearly as of in danger of spiraling out of control with Trump had he been allowed to just get his second term. Uh, but now, if he comes back in, he's pissed, his base is pissed, and, and that's how crazy things like Hitler happen. <laughs> okay? And, and, and it's almost like it was, it's been orchestrated to happen this way. I mean, I, I, I cannot, I have a difficult time comprehending that the DNC seriously thought that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were a winning duo for their party and for leadership of this country. I, I, I don't see how they could have thought, it's like the level of anger that they have inflicted upon themselves <laughs> or brought upon themselves from the right by basically doing to Trump what they did to Bernie. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I just... <sighs> I 
And then you've got... Where to begin? I mean... Okay. So we have a government that is not under the control of its general public. That's an established fact. We know this. <laughs> There's no question about this anymore. All you have to do is go and look at the work, recent writings of Glenn Greenwald and Matt Taibbi and start listening to Joe Rogan and to Russell, Russell Brand and to Elon Musk and to all the other brave, actually altruistic greats among us. Um, and there are some, they are the heroes of our world right now. Um, the general public knows. Now, who's in control? Corporations, Ben Banks. It's the easy way to say it. Um, people are just now, it's, 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 it's hilarious to me now. The other thing, I, and I was talking about this like two months ago about BlackRock <laughs> and how they own everything. And all of a sudden, this is like center stage now. BlackRock, Vanguard Group, all these guys. That, that like The extent to which their ownership over the world goes behind the scenes is like phenomenal. It's like, how did something like BlackRock ever even happen? It's like, isn't that like the whole point of like antitrust laws? Is so that no single one person owns everything? <laughs> Which effectively removes competition, it, it, and that's and that, it, it, it's like a self defeating system because you, you, say you say you want a fair system, but then you create a system based on competition, which inherently means a there's going to be winners and b there's going to be losers, and there's going to be ultimate winners. Like people are going to start winning and keep winning and keep winning and get more and more until they have everything. How no one could possibly have thought that this was a possibility when they first started rolling out capitalism is difficult for me to imagine. And again, makes me feel like some way, somehow it's been orchestrated to play out the way that it is. So it's almost like, like, I feel like the monarchies of old saw what was happening and what was coming. And they're like, okay, people aren't going to buy this, you know, we're ordained by God stuff anymore. What are we going to do? It's like, all right, what we'll do is we'll set up a market, a free market system. We'll call it a free market system where anybody can buy and sell and everybody can own stuff. Then we'll let everybody have their stuff. And <laughs> then slowly, over many generations, because it's how elites or wealthy people think is on a generational basis, that's how they plan. That's how, they, that's, how, that's how conspiracies happen without anybody noticing that they're conspiracies and they can say people are just crazy because it's just it's based on such a long timeline that it's, it's, it's difficult for the common person to comprehend. <laughs> um, <laughs> at least when you're first introduced to it. It's not that hard to wrap your head around. It just takes a minute to be like, what? Okay, fuck. <laughs> people, man. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, so the monarchies said, okay, we'll let everybody own stuff. And then slowly, over generations, they started buying everything because they started out from the get-go, no matter what, with an immense amount of wealth, even after they returned everything to the people they'd been colonizing for centuries. But... <laughs> and so, of course, kept tabs on all the different forms of government and just started buying everything up. And they'd just been buying it all up till eventually... They would get, they knew they would get to a point in their own legal framework that everyone agreed to <laughs> where they own everything anyway. And we're all just serfs again, just like it used to be back in the days of Kings and Queens. Like that's where we're headed. We're pretty much there already. Like the majority of us are wage slaves, AKA serfs. And then the people who own the corporations and the conglomerates and all that stuff, they are the lords and the kings and the queens. And we all serve them.
And I know that there's an argument out there that like, oh, people need to be ruled and we're just barbaric left to ourselves and these people like, you know, deserve to be revered or whatever because they keep civilization in line. But that's not the fact. That's not reality. That's not at all reality, okay? Half the stuff they do is the most uncivilized thing, uncivilized actions you could possibly imagine. Uh, They're constantly justifying pitting us against each other in wars and coming up with new ways for us to kill each other and profiting off of that, (laughs) immensely profiting off of that. They make us pay for our own destruction. It's in the form of taxation. And, uh, <laughs> it's exhausting. It's it's to have known about it for as long as I have, and it's like, oh man, we're just like almost there. If we could just blow the lid off this thing so that everybody knows that everybody else knows. So that we can all agree, okay, enough is enough. Because <laughs> these people aren't going to give up on their own. They are going to have to be removed. And I don't know how to do that <laughs> on my own. But, you know, whoever wants to come up with a plan, I'm down. <laughs> Because this is ridiculous. I'm t- this is oh. So what I was saying is that we don't. There's this argument, yeah, that we we need to be ruled and raw barbaric, blah, blah 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 blah. The only reason people are the way they are is because they're educated to be that way. They're taught to be that way, not just by the education, the garbage education system that doesn't actually teach you how to be successful in life. It teaches you how to be an obedient employee is what it teaches you. (laughs) Uh, And then our other teacher is television. And oh my God, the horror of a teacher that that is. I mean, that's literally just teaching everybody to be the most complete, dumbest moron that you can possibly be and, you know, be proud of it. And, ah, look at them. It's so funny. (laughs) Making the world ultra safe as possible so that, you know, the idiots don't get picked off by natural selection like they're supposed to. I just, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough noogie to crack it. But again, you know, people are talking about it and, and this battle with Elon and Twitter is like a big, that's, that's why it's such a big deal is because this is an opportunity for us to really organize. Cause I'm not looking for a freaking violent. I don't want a civil war. I don't want a violent revolution. That's just okay. Cause a, anytime you have something like that, you're going to have, pissed off losers who are going to come back and haunt you later on anyway. Um, Nothing good will come from that, okay? Like, I'm talking about, like, a peaceful removal of heads of state. (laughs) Because there's just just not that many of them, okay? And and the people, their support structure is is pretty weak at this point. Um, They screwed over everyone so hard that it, it... It's really just a matter of everyone recognizing that everyone's generally speaking on board with it. And that's why we need Twitter to be open an open forum for people to be able to talk about things like this without being afraid of being banned for life. Um, Cause this is serious, some serious dissent I'd be talking. <laughs> yeah. This is some pretty heavy, notions <laughs> I am putting out there uh, but I know I'm not alone I know I'm not alone I know a lot of people feel it's the exact same way um, and I, I just I just want a fair play it's not even the yeah I want a fair playing field I want it's not even that I want a fair playing field I just want to play playing field where it doesn't feel like we're all at each other's throats for survival like this just it doesn't make any sense like why why are we living like this 
in this constant state of fear from our neighbor, from our government, from our, the country next door, from, you know, people that were from our own families, from our religious leaders, from our law enforcement. We're, we're just, we're for everybody's afraid of everybody. And with good reason, because we've all just been kind of screwing each other over for the benefit of a few. It's got to stop. It has to stop. It, I mean, it doesn't have to. Nothing has to happen. But wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> wouldn't it be nice if we... <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot. I just, yeah. Something to think about, people. Something to think about. I'm going to try and do more videos in the coming days. Because there's so much more to be said. But I can't upload huge videos, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm still limited on a very limited bandwidth system and still out in the boonies. I want to get back in the city so bad. I want to get myself into a van, like a mobile studio van, and I want to drive straight to Washington, D.C. <laughs> and just camp out <laughs> in front of the Capitol Hill and just hound representatives all day long for interviews and hound heads of state all day long for interviews and camp out in front of embassies and talk to heads of states from other countries all day long. Like, that's what I want to do all day. I just want to spend my entire day, every day for the rest of my life in Washington, D.C., talking to these people, trying to understand what's going on and trying to figure out some kind of amicable solution for all involved. So if you're into helping me with doing that, um, drop me a line because that's my plan. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do if anything that I'm doing ever takes off financially <laughs> that's my first move anyway have a great day I'm out bye bye